Well, hello there. Santa asked me to share with you the instructions on the gift he brought to you this year, the Holiday Hack Challenge 2022. Now, I'm not going to tell you how to solve all the problems. In fact, it's the challenges themselves that can help you in landing your first or next role in cybersecurity, which is what the gift truly is. All right, so you're probably wondering who I am and how I know Santa. Well, the last part's a secret, but as for who I am, I'm Chris Lemon. I'm a security engineer at Secure Yeti, where I do assessments and pen tests for some pretty cool clients. I'm also an instructor and a curriculum developer at City Colleges of Chicago, where I run a CTF course and help get non-traditional students into the cybersecurity industry. I'm also a SANS Diversity Academy graduate and a dog mom, which yes, of course it's relevant, especially when discussing cybersecurity, because look at those faces. Okay, back on topic. Now, I don't have a traditional background. I actually used to be a professional nanny. When the pandemic hit in 2020, I was working as a nanny. So how did I make the journey from nanny to security engineer? Arguably, the biggest thing needed to go from being a nanny to an engineer is knowledge. However, knowledge itself isn't quite enough because we all know you can have the skills, but actually getting the job takes more than simply being capable. So let me break down my formula for you into three components. Learning the skills, documenting the skills, and convincing people that you have those skills. Enter CTFs. Not only are these games fun and competitive, because I do love a good competition, but they can also help you tackle each of these three necessary components. When you think of what you can gain from CTFs, you may think of technical skill development. And you're not wrong. I remember setting up a Kali image for my very first CTF. It was incredibly intimidating, and it took me multiple tries on multiple days before I got it up and running. However, now that's a skill that I use daily in my job as a technical tester. And to tell you the truth, I spent almost my entire Monday this week fixing a corrupted image that I needed to get a file off of. Which leads me to one of the most critical skill sets exercised by CTFs. You aren't only bulking up your technical skills, you're also developing problem-solving skills, critical thinking, and yes, Googling is a huge skill to have as a technical tester or duck, duck going, whatever your preferred method is for searching. But this is a huge skill to have in any sort of cybersecurity job or any job. I'd call it a life skill. Knowing how to find the answer when you don't know what it is, is often crucial to getting the job done. And once you figure out how to solve the problem, being able to document and know how to reference that solution is immensely important for saving time and not getting frustrated. As a technical tester, documentation is a large part of the job. Clients don't care about your testing. They care about what your findings are. And if you can't show them what you found, they'll likely find the door on the way out of that contract. So learning how to effectively organize and store your notes is a greatly important skill, and it'll help you as you continue in your CTFs as well. Personally, my favorite tool for documentation is OneNote. You can search across multiple pages, across books. It's easy to access, and you can share it across multiple devices seamlessly. Figure out what works best for you, but note-taking and organization will be really helpful in helping you develop documentation to showcase your new skills. All right, so you're gaining some skills. However, picks or it didn't happen, or uh, documentation or it didn't happen. Documentation is the first step in communicating what your skills are, because let's face it, there are a lot of people out there who claim to have skills that end up being duds. People often over embellish. Don't do that, but show people what your skills are. So now's your chance to showcase your true skills. 
Now, there are a couple of previous holiday hack write-up examples on here, on this slide. Use them as something to strive for, but don't be intimidated by them. They are, after all, a couple of the winners of the competitions, and they are very impressive. Of course, quite possibly the most important piece of documentation is your resume. However, when adding CTFs to your resume, don't just add the CTF, include skills that you learned. If you're really lacking solid experience to put on your resume, you can add bullets to add additional content. For example, solved 24 out of 28 available problems and finished in the top 10% of contestants. You can also add bullets that highlight some of the tools and concepts you've utilized during the competition. Additionally, you can add multiple years of CTFs to show your improvement from year to year. Don't forget you've honed more than just technical skills. Include soft skills like problem solving and documentation and potentially report writing within your resume. Now, while write-ups may be helpful for your own skill development, in order to fully take advantage of this gift, you'll need to share it with others. That's where networking comes in. Let's go back for a minute to where I said I went from being a nanny to a security engineer. One of the biggest components that got me here was my personal network. When I landed my first job in the industry, I did it through networking. Also, my second and my third job as well. And I'm going to tell you a secret. I'm as introverted as they come, yet here I am speaking to all of you. Why? Because Chris LG asked me to, because networking. Shout out to Chris, by the way. If you don't know Chris, he is one of the amazing Holiday Hack developers. Chris, you are awesome. And thanks so much for such an amazing and fun CTF. Okay, back on topic. So CTFs are a great way to grow your network and connect with others. And guess what? When you work with others, you gain another skill, collaboration, which is a pretty huge skill when it comes to working on a team. Honestly, many technical testers are lone wolves. So if you work well on a team, that's a skill that employers would love to see. So if you haven't already, make sure to join the Holiday Hack Discord channel and get involved. You never know who you may be talking to and how you can help each other. And if not now, maybe in the future. Also, sharing your progress on social media is a great way to get on people's radar. With the CTF course I facilitate, one of the largest benefits of the course is the networking space that is available to the students. Consider joining a CTF club or a meetup. I attend a monthly hacker meetup and the connections I have made there are invaluable. If there isn't anything in your area, you can always start something, which would yet be another thing to add to your already impressive resume. Or you can focus on networking online. Either way, sharing what you've learned is definitely the icing on the cake when it comes to the power of CTFs. All right, well, that's it for Santa's instructions. Learn the skills, document the skills, and go out there and convince people you have the skills. So whether you're looking to land your first role in cybersecurity or you're looking to move on to your next, remember, fun and technical skills aren't all you gain from CTFs. Harness the full power of what CTFs have to offer. Hopefully you all have a wonderful holiday season and hope to see you all around the virtual North Pole. Happy hacking! Happy hacking!